and now and now my clicker wants to work and now it's recording so we bless the father so tonight i have been assigned to do a teaching on wisdom there are 14 accounts of the word wisdom in the new testament there are three books of the bible that are considered the books of wisdom proverbs job and ecclesiastes i would like to draw from the understanding of wisdom from the new testament my scripture tonight will come from matthew chapter 7. matthew chapter 7 or uh, chapter 7 of matthew is so rich with topics of judging others ask seek knock the narrow and wide gates true and false prophets true and false disciples and the wise and foolish builders. And the scripture I'll be coming from is Matthew 7, 24, and I'm using the ESV for this. Um, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. The Greek word in Matthew for wisdom is phronimos. I believe Phronimos, and it is spelled P H R O N I M O S. It means thoughtful, that is sagacious or discreet, implying a cautious character, while it also denotes practical skill or uh, acumen and indicates rather intelligence or mental uh, acquirement. In a bad sense, conceded also in the comparative. Uh, the definition in the dictionary of wisdom is, there's three definitions, the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment, the quality of being wise, the soundness of an action or decision with regard to the application of experience, knowledge, and good judgment. The body of knowledge and principles that develops within a specific society or period. So wisdom is also something that a particular society or a time frame um, is categorized as. And so I'm using myself as an illustration. My life has been prophetic and so I kind of laugh when people see my gray hairs and they see me. And so many may see my gray hair on, and um, many may see gray in my hair and on my chin, but I'm not that old. I'm older and wiser. Now I keep the gray showing because I fought hard out of all the failures and mistakes in my life to gain wisdom. I'm street savvy with scholastic, scholastic head knowledge. I learn most life lessons on my own by the grace of God with the help of very few. Uh, it made me wiser, stronger, and better as the Marvin Sapp song says, therefore I will never be ashamed of my age nor my grades. The scripture in Proverbs 20 states, the glory of a young man is their strength. And the beauty of an old man is the gray head. I've learned my lesson in righteousness or godly living is the way to go. Proverbs states in Proverbs 1, 7 in the ESV, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, fools despise wisdom and instruction. In this particular scripture, wisdom, the Hebrew word is uh, chama. And it means good in good sense, skillful, wise, wisely, or wit. We should hold his word, therefore attempting to follow all his instructions, which is wisdom. Ephesians 5 states in Ephesians 5, 6 through 10, let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not become partners with them from at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. 
for the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true and true to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. And in conclusion, I would like to leave us with an exhortation and encouragement. James 3 states in James 3, 13 through 18, who is wise and understanding among you by his good conduct? Let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter, jealous, and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. Let this not, let th this is not the wisdom that comes down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For who, for where jealousy and selfish ambition exists, there will be disorder and every vile practice. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Therefore, make peace and walk in wisdom. Thank you. Bless God. Amen.